There's a bit of a scandal uh, gripping Saudi Arabia. Apparently, nearly a dozen camels have been disqualified from the country's annual camel beauty pageant for nonetheless uh, for for none other than using Botox. You've got to be kidding me. This this story has everything. It has camels, a camel beauty pageant, rich Saudi Arabian princes, and Botox. I, I never thought that I would ever do a story like this. All right. So let me get to um, Reuters here, uh, who says that the contest had been moved from its previous venue in the desert to the outskirts of the capital, Riyadh, where a jury would rate tens of thousands of camels based on their appearance. Now, the event, uh, they explain, is actually part of a big festival that celebrates the animal, which symbolizes Bedouin life in the desert. The judge, the, the chief judge, uh, Fazwan Al-Mahdi, says, quote, the camel is a symbol of Saudi Arabia. Okay, kid, look, I can understand that, right? Uh, I get it, camels are important culturally. Um, and hey, look, they're good pack animals, I guess. But Botoxing, this is where it gets super weird. Uh, according to Ali Al Mazrui, whose father breeds camels, uh, talking to the Emirates, the National, uh, he explained that they use Botox for the lips, the nose, the upper lips, the lower lips, and even even the jaw. Why would you do that? He said it makes the head more inflated, so when the camel comes, it's like, oh look how big that head is. It has big lips, a big nose. That right there is, I think, the funniest, strangest sentence I may have read. Then again, I haven't read any uh, Trump tweets in a while either. So, But anyway, why, why would you do this? Why, why would you even consider Botoxing a camel? Well, it turns out there's a bit of an incentive. The prize money for this beauty pageant is a total of $57 million. $57 million. That is a lot of money. I, I am now considering getting myself a camel and entering it in this contest because that's a lot of money. <laughs> I would never have to work again. And so thanks to that prize money, over 30,000 camels have been entered into the show. And around 300,000 people have attended the event that began in the start of the month and includes not only a beauty pageant, but also camel racing and auctions for buyers and sellers. So here's what they do. Oh, look, look, my camel won. My camel won the beauty contest. Don't you want to buy it? Don't you want to pay not only like $57 million just for winning? I, I imagine the winning camel can go for hundreds of millions of dollars. Look, the people in the Middle East, in, in, in that country, Saudi Arabia, got too much money to spend. So, of course, it's going to be the Saudi princes uh, and the really high elite kind of royal, uh, royalty types that are going to take place in this. So, now, uh, <laughs> the Hill explains, uh, the possibility that a Botox-injected camo could win big money or go to a buyer for a high price months before it returns to its regular appearance has worried some attendees of the event who want beauty pageant cheats to be punished just the same as giving performance-enhancing drugs to a racing camel is punished. Again, they're taking camels very, very seriously there. In fact, in camel racing, whoever is using drug, uh, drugs, performance-enhancing drugs, is fined about 50,000 dirhams in Abu Dhabi. So how much is that in U.S. dollars? That's about $13,000. That is a lot of money. Again, I think they take their camels way seriously. Wow. So, look. <laughs> this, I think this whole thing is less a cultural thing and more of, it used to be a cultural thing. Now we're just a bunch of rich people in the desert throwing them out of money and Botoxing our camels. That's my read of the situation. Maybe I'm wrong. But it just kind of goes to show you just a gross amount of wealth that has been extracted from fossil fuels. And not only that, but look, uh, we're also funding Saudi Arabia as they kill tens of thousands of people in Yemen. 
So, look, maybe instead of Botoxing camels, maybe they should actually worry about, I don't know, giving women humans right, uh, human rights, stop bombing people in Yemen, and uh, not, you know, beheading people for witchcraft. It's just a thought. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.